Hello, all you wonderful art explorers. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Emily and I run the Art Explorers program for three to five year olds at the Mossman Art Gallery. Now we haven't been able to run our program like we normally do, but we're determined to make sure that you guys can still be creative and have fun and explore and be amazing in the comfort of your own home. We have two really big important things that we try to focus on. One is the process. We want you to have fun while you're making your art, not just have this end product. We want the whole journey to be wonderful. And the other thing I really wanted to focus on was making sure that you at home had all the resources you needed to participate in these wonderful activities. The first thing I wanted to do was to get you guys to paint. But I thought, what if people don't have paint? I loved this problem. Coming up with a solution was so much fun. I decided to see what I could find in my garden and in my own home that I could use as paint. And I had a lot of fun doing this. I went and I got some sandstone, I got some grass, I got some turmeric, a delicious onion, and I also found a coffee that I hadn't finished. I then just added water, I boiled some of it, and I just had a really good time playing and exploring and seeing what colours I could find. So I'm going to show you what I've discovered. But at the end of this video, I hope you will shut the screen, walk away, and go and see what wonderful colours you can find in your own house. I would love you to post me pictures and examples of some of the colours you can come up with, because that way you'll be teaching me and I can use your wonderful ideas. So the first one we've got here, and this is just a piece of sandstone that I found in the front garden, and it's an orangey sandstone. It's very grainy, so a lot of these become really fun textural explorations as well. The second one looks very purpley in the bowl, but on the paper it's paler, but it's still kind of cool. The third one was my biggest disappointment, but then also my funnest mistake. So this was grass, and I really wanted a bright, vibrant colour, and this was what I got. I boiled it because I thought that would be the best thing to do. And what I got was basically a weird watery colour. And I thought to myself, no way, I have been in the garden and I have gotten grass stains that have been impossible to get out of clothes. So what if I got my grass and I used it sort of like a paintbrush with built-in paint? Look at that! And it was so much fun. I really enjoyed that mistake. The next one I used was turmeric and turmeric is a really bright, vibrant color. You can find it in your, in your herbs and spices rack. And the yellow from the turmeric is really, it's one of the brighter colors that I found. And I enjoyed playing with that one as well. Now the onions I boiled. Now in my bowl, they're a really rich purpley red, but when I put them on the paper, it's still a really fun colour, but that's just a, a little bit watery. My last one was the coffee. Make sure I don't drink this a little bit later. And let's see what amazing colour I can find. Comes up with this beautiful brown. What I loved about this activity most of all was when I was doing an experiment before I filmed this, look what happens when my colours dried compared to my wet colours. Look what happens to my onion. It goes this kind of delicious greeny grey. I love the science behind that. This is like art meets science, which is such a fun exploration. All right, my art explorers, it's time for you guys to go and explore. And I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. We'll see you next time. Bye.